Question the member from the Carleton. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Edu Education. Minister, the uh, Ottawa Carleton District School Board manages over $1 billion in assets, yet some members of the board are compromising those assets by skirting school board rules or throwing them out entirely by ignoring accommodation reviews and disregarding staff reports. On the weekend, desperate parents in Canada requested you intervene after the school board ignored a Lakeview accommodation review in their community. This review uh, will impact two schools in one of the fastest growing communities, Mr. McLaren's riding, and that community is now in turmoil. Minister, will you respond to their request in Canada today to send a ministry official in to investigate the actions of some board trustees who've rejected due process? Question. Thank you. Minister of Education. Thank, thank you very much, Speaker, and, I, and I'm pleased to say that, that these are local decisions that need to be made, and we respect our local trustees. We respect the uh, role that they play, Speaker, and uh, we take their advice very seriously. There are local processes in place that allow us to examine these issues. But I do want to say, Speaker, how proud I am of the investments that our government has made since 2003 in public education in Ottawa area. Speaker, Speaker, just listen to this. Since 2003, the two English school boards in Ottawa have received over $400 million in capital funding. 19 new schools have opened or are under construction. Speaker, I think that demonstrates the commitment that we have to public education in Ottawa and right across this province, Speaker, and it's something that Answer. we're very proud of uh, and will continue to move forward in that Thank way. Well done. Supplementary. Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm quite disappointed with the answer, and let me say why. Canada is not the only community in turmoil based on the hijinks at the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. You can ask Trustee Mark Fisher, who your, uh, your friend in front of you knows quite well. Every other Ottawa MPP has a vested interest in the investigation of the Ottawa Carleton District School Board by ministry officials. Last week, some trustees ignored other accommodation reviews, turned a blind eye to their facility utilization index and flat-out rejected staff recommendations in an 11th-hour power play by the chair. This has wide-ranging implications. Let me tell you why. In Dalton McGuinty's riding, it is the first school that needs to be rebuilt at Elizabeth Park. It's now been bumped. In Mr. Shirelli's riding, Seven Elementary School has now been bumped. Question. In McNeely's riding, an Avalon School has now been bumped. In Mayer's riding, the Viscount Alexander has Question. now been bumped. This minister needs to respond to the parents of the And uh, just a reminder for everyone that uh, when I say thank you, that's usually the end. Uh, second thing is I remind all members again that we use members' writings, uh, names, when we refer to them in this house, please. Minister of Education for the answer. Thank you very much, Speaker. And, and I want to say from the outset how we know that these are very important local conversations, and they have an identified process that is available for communities. Member from Prince Edward Hastings is not in his seat. Concern, and it's appropriate that that process be followed, Speaker. But I do want to say that I think it. it there's a history lesson that we're getting from the other side of the House right now, and that is that the progressive conservative approach, when they had the opportunity to be responsible for education in this province, was to pit one community against another, to pit parents against teachers, and to pit community against community. And I think it's very important upon us, Speaker, to take the politics out of this, to not pit communities once against another. That's the process that we have put in place when it comes to accommodation review. Answer. And Speaker, we respect the local role and responsibility. We respect the local voice. That's 